This house is so dated. We need to drag it into 2008. Quite a bold color choice. It is rather dramatic. It could do with a little updating. This house could do with a bit more bang. Things are changing rapidly. It's her. We need to solve this house. <laughs> can be a risky business, so if you want to sell your house, it's essential to present it in the best possible light. Buyers are savvy these days, and they definitely know what they want. So if you want a quick sale at top dollar, got to accentuate the wow factor in your house. Believe me, you will get results. Bob and Susan's four-bedroom detached home in the suburbs is on the market for a reasonable $299,800. It's been on the market for three weeks and it's had a whopping 52 viewings with not a single offer. Close to schools, shops, transportation, they're baffled as to why their house isn't selling and are well, frustrated. We've been living in this home for, I'm told it's nine years. It's been great living in this house. We have three children, Alexis, William, and Rachel, in that order. Initially, we were two adults with three kids, and now we're a family of five adults. We're all kind of running up yeah. against each other. We don't really need a bigger house. We just need a house that meets our needs, perhaps, a little better. It's not size we're talking <laughs> about, it's function. Now, if you call that an upsize, or downsized, there's, I don't think there's a word for it. I think it's just a change. I'm a little surprised that the house has been on the market for this long. It'd be nice if we could uh, get it sold. Hi, you must be Sue, Sophie. And you must be Sophie. This Hi. is Bob. Hi, Sophie. Nice Bob. to meet you. Shall we begin our tour? That would be great. Nice sure. and bright. Bright, yeah, when the sun comes in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when did you renovate the kitchen? Basically, it's the same way we got it. So did you paint the, the apples on? Yes, about nine years ago. I think with all this white, too, it's nice to have a splash of color, so I Absolutely. thought the red would work well in here. Right. It's cheery. It is cheery. And over here, we have our powder room. Uh-huh. It's not very big, but it's... Uh, it's well, it's a powder room, so it doesn't need to be. <laughs> yeah. So in here we have the dining room, living mm -hmm. room combination. Quite a bold colour choice. It, it is rather dramatic, that's mm -hmm. true. Well, the great thing about paint is you can always change it. That's yes. true. So this is your sort of formal sitting room here. It is. Quite a lot of furniture. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the family room. Right. We have a working wood-burning fireplace in the corner here. Lovely. It's always great. So it adds a, sort of a real focal point. To Definitely. It. Yeah. It's a lovely cosy room. You could do a little updating okay. just to make it all cohesive. Flow a little flow, better. Flow a little better. So at the moment, I suppose the wall kind of stops the flow, so we need to make a flow sort of around the wall. I wanted to ask you a question. You seem really happy here. What's What's the impetus for moving? With our oldest daughter, she's 22 now, and I think she needs a little bit of space for herself. And You know, we need the privacy, actually, too. Basically, you need privacy as much as Alexis. As much as she. Yeah. So I think for the time being, we need a basement apartment for Alexis. And, you know, possibly even a slightly smaller space so that when the children leave... Yeah, you don't have to downsize again. So you need your house to evolve. Exactly. Well, with that in mind, should we have a look upstairs? Of course. Wow. William, I presume, was a scout. Actually, still he still is. This room, a nice neutral colour. I think yes. just maybe decluttered a bit. Well, mm -hmm. we've decluttered a lot. It used to be wall-to-wall -wall stuff, so he's this is sort of our compromise with him. Well, he hasn't met me yet, <laughs> so... This is the master bedroom. It's a good size. It's an odd colour. This is actually the darkest room in the house because you've only got one window, and this colour makes it feel quite dark. That's a good point. Over here, we have the computer room. You've got three desks in here. Mm-hmm. It's a little cramped. It is rather. My daughter Rachel's room. It's quite blue. It is rather. We need to readdress the colour and also mm -hmm. maybe declutter a bit. <laughs> Goodbye, beanie Perfect. babies. This house is so dated. It's time to sit Bob and Sue down and give them a little bit of a chat. This is the part where I come in and I'm very bossy, and you probably think, why did we invite this woman into our house? <laughs> but the idea of this is to get the house sold as quick as possible so you can move on with your life. Buyers are now very savvy and they want it all. They want the bang for their buck. And I think that this house could do with a bit more bang. The sense I've got from your house is it's a good size. 
you've got lots of bedrooms, you've got a home office, which is a big selling plus. But the problem is, it's just looking a bit dated. Mm -hmm. We need to kind of drag it from early 90s into 2008. So decluttering and just sprucing up, I think, is the order of the day. I need your help with that. <laughs> well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> well, now we've done the easy part, which is chatting about it. Now I think we have to do the difficult part, which is actually doing it. Well, it didn't take long to get Bob and Sue on board. It always helps when you have willing participants, because now the fun can really begin. It's all changed for Bob, Sue and the family. They have to move soon, otherwise they're not going to be able to move on with their lives. So I'm off to meet Debbie, the realtor, and get the bigger picture on why this house is unsellable. Debbie, you're the lady in the nose. So I want to pick your brain. Speaking to Bob and Sue, and they said the house has been on for about three and a half weeks, which is longer than average. What actually makes it more than average is the fact that we've had 52 showings in that time. When you have that many showings and no offers, you know you're bang on with how you've priced it, and it's the house. Have you got any feedback from those 52 viewings? Yes, I'm hearing that it looks like something my mom and dad had, mm -hmm. and they want something fresh and new and with it. So we just have to spruce it up. I mean, I think the blue has got to go for a start. And yes. I am not a fan of the stencil of the apple. No, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not, not at all. <laughs> I think I will take pleasure in painting over that might be my first job. Can I come and help? Yes, you can. <laughs> Tired, old, shabby, it just doesn't cut the mustard in real estate. So I'm not surprised that the offers haven't been pouring into Bob and Sue's house, and that's why I brought them here to a comparable house. So it never hurts to see what the competition are up to. I like their color schemes. Yes, very and fresh. very fresh and also uncluttered. Uncluttered. Oh, I'm loving this. This house is by no means brand new, but it looks very, very modern, which is what we're trying to achieve in your house. Now, here it's obviously slightly different to yours. One of the things I notice about this room is just how light and bright it is. It is mm -hmm. beautiful. I like the way there's a, a consistent color scheme as well. Also, what I want to show you is the kitchen. The cupboards look fresh, the appliances look fresh. It feels modern, but it mm -hmm. isn't. I still think missing the apples. Though. Still, uh, yes, <laughs> the apples are missing. I want to show you upstairs. Sure. This is the master bedroom. Quite a bit smaller than ours. It is quite a bit smaller, definitely. It's yeah, very, very bright, bright, cheerful. Yeah, it has energy. Mm, it is nice and bright. Anyway, there's more rooms to show you. Nice bathroom. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's large. It's large. What I like about it is just nice, fresh, modern accents of a nicer green the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Now, this is uh, the boys' room. I'm noticing that the rooms are a fair bit smaller. Absolutely, that's true. However, the light colours do help it, I have to admit that. These bedrooms are actually smaller than Susan and Bob's, but the smart layout really makes up for it. Now, your house as you've already noticed, is bigger. It's in a better location. But yep. this house has a great flow. There's cohesion in the paint, which draws the eye nicely through. And it looks, above all, like you can move in tomorrow and you don't have to do any work. Your house shows small. This house shows big. You're right, and our house is a fair size larger. Fair size larger. Yeah. This sold close to list price in 10 days. Wow. That's it's very quick. It's very quick. Yeah. Great. All right, now it's time to call in general contractor Anthony Sayers to help modify Bob and Susan's house. As we discussed earlier, we've got to turn this house from dated to sort of dazzling. Wonderful. And the man here in the leather jacket is the one to do it. So we're going to jazz up the kitchen a little bit, update the cabinets, mm -hmm. and get rid of the border. The, oh, the no. apples. I know. I love my apples. <sighs> Sorry. I have no problem Just with that. Goodbye. <laughs> Bob doesn't mind the apples going. <laughs> in the dining room, we're going to get rid of the blue that's on the wall, repurpose the room, and make it more functional. And the room is a little cramped, so we'll get rid of some of the furniture some. just to show the actual size of the room. In your family room, focal point should be the actual fireplace. Right. And instead, it's the exposed brick wall. Yeah. I can see what you're saying. So we're going to prime blow. it out and paint it a neutral color so that it'll just bring back the focal point mm -hmm. of the actual so, fire. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Tell um, me about upstairs. The bedrooms upstairs, they're, they're a good size, right? So we'll just declutter the rooms and we're going to paint out some of the rooms and just neutralize it up there again. All right. That should help sell the house and make it, it go. It will definitely right. help sell the house. We have a lot of work to do, so... Yes. I think we should have some bonding. Yep. Yes. Then go and do it. Let's go. Yes. All right.
We have so much stuff, I can't believe it. Well, you checked out already, I can put him in. It has to be taped. Okay. A lot of those things we're packing, we're gonna realize that uh, chances are they may not come back or go into the next place. They're not coming because, back. Because we're gonna be <laughs> sorting. Never mind chances are. <laughs> we have to do something. There has to be some sacrifice on our part too. That table goes, goes. Yeah. It's a reality check. You're no longer sitting at the table talking about why you want to sell your right. house. Exactly. Now yeah. you're physically selling your house. In this house right now, it's really busy because there's many different things going on in every room. I want remotes going in one spot. Okay. Okay. Anything electronic, put it in one spot. It is pretty hectic. I already hit my mother in the head with a table. Unless you're planning to wear this stuff, what is the point of having it in the drawer? I think we're going to be here, so I'll move my shirt. <laughs> I think that this was the kick in the butt everybody needed to get in gear and get with the program. I'm doing the painting on the John, so I'm a little tired. I've been working very hard, but the flamingo pink is soon to be replaced, which I think is always a good thing. Hey, guys. Hey. What are you up to? Just painting the cabinet doors to make the kitchen more stylish. Mm -hmm. I took the gray from the actual handles and some of the countertop, and there's gray in the actual tiles as well. Ripping them out and putting new covers in would not have been possible. No, that would have cost at least three to four thousand dollars, right? The paint was fifty dollars, so. Okay, I can see the difference. economics in yeah. that. I can still see the apples, people. Yeah, we've done one coat of primer, so yep. you're gonna have to do a second coat to uh, to get rid of the apples. They're stubborn old things. Yes, they are. Okay, you want to pull it? Okay, go for it. That's it. Okay. Way to go, Alexis. All right. My. You're like a machine, eh? Sometimes. <laughs> That's awesome. Far your favorite job, screwing plates onto the wall. How many have you got left? About 32. <laughs> Fantastic. We've made quite a bit of progress. Mm -hmm. We've got the carpet layers working away. People upstairs dressing all the rooms. I know, that's one of my jobs. I've got to go and put these curtains up. Pretty much, we're just down to a big push. When it comes to updating the decor of your home, no detail is too small. And this gorgeous, comparable home in the neighborhood is a shining example. This kitchen is bigger than Susan and Bob's, and the gorgeous countertops and paint colors give it a modern feel. There are no outdated apple borders here. The dining room is dressed simply and effectively. The furniture is very contemporary and it's been minimalized to allow three feet of clearance all around the table. The ideal distance for both design and function. At first glance, this living room isn't that different, but it's all in the details. The updated furniture is lustrous and the woodwork around the fireplace is painted white. This flaunts the fireplace instead of overshadowing it. When it comes to updating your home, success is in the details. First-time buyers want to move into a glamorous magazine spread. So when you're selling your house, it's got to be sleek, modern, and fully updated. And a few final details for you. This house sold in 10 days for over the asking price. There is a flurry of activity inside. We are dragging this house, kicking and screaming, into 2008. This whole process has really been an interruption in our lifestyle, but I have to sell this house, so... That's what I'm doing. <laughs> One of the big surprises would be the kitchen. I'm not fond of gray, but I thought, no, don't prejudge too quickly. It really was an excellent choice. It's freshened the whole room up. It's unbelievable. I'm enjoying what's going on. I think it's a good change. You're fixing it up to sell, but you're not fixing it up for yourself. So I have to fix up for the person that's going to buy it. People can picture more of their stuff in here instead of looking at all our stuff. The proof of the pie is an actual sale of the house, but I think we've got a much better chance now. Bob and Susan's narrow galley kitchen was in pretty good shape, but we've updated the cabinet colors to more closely match the countertops. Also, Susan's beloved apple border was a massive hangover from the early 90s, and it had to go. 
Walking into Bob and Susan's dining room was like being transported back in time by about, hmm, 20 years. To bring this room back into the future, we painted over the dark blue walls, we stripped down and replaced the updated fixtures, and now the room feels much larger. The living room wasn't too far off, but simple changes have made a big impact. We've stayed on budget by slip covering the furniture and removed the television from in front of the sliding doors to brighten up the room. But most importantly, we painted over the dark colored brick, which really helps draw your eye to the room's main attraction, the fireplace itself. We've softened the paint color in the harsh red powder room and the old carpet on the stairs was replaced by a cleaner Berber-style carpet. In this bedroom, baby blues and too many trinkets made for an out-of-date and lackluster showing. No clutter and neutral colors has helped, but rearranging the furniture shows off this room really well. In the office, we removed one of the three desks and we did a major decluttering, which provided very favorable results. In the master bedroom, we've done well in matching the existing furniture to a new design scheme, which has created a calming feeling with just a hint of drama. Removing the bulky TV was key. In the boys' room, we've thinned out the boyish paraphernalia and rearranged the room in a way that really draws you in. In the smaller room, minor adjustments made a big difference. The total cost for this stunning transformation, $4,400. All right, Bob and Susan's home is looking great, but we've got a few more tricks up our sleeve to prepare for the open house. Here are some things that every homeowner should know about preparing for the big show. Recovering chairs or simply using slip covers is a great way of revamping the furniture without breaking the back. Put fresh linen on the beds, hang up clean towels and throw out old worn rugs. All this will create an impressive finishing touch. Rearrange closets and kitchen cabinets. You want to look clean and organized from the inside out. If you've got space, you might as well flaunt it. There is no point cluttering it up with excess furniture. Place small pieces strategically in a room. This will maximize space and really impress buyers. This is more like it. The paint job has been a real success. Before, the blue wall kind of chopped everything up downstairs and it just didn't feel right. Now there's a great flow to the ground floor and it looks fantastic and much bigger. But more importantly, Bob and Susan's home has been wrestled back from the early 90s. So, I think we're open house ready. OK, the open house signs are strategically placed everywhere. It's looking sparkly in there, so it's just time to get the show on the road. I'm Sophie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. So, this is a kitchen. There's an eating bit here. There's also a formal dining room. I wish it was a little bigger and that was it. More windows, I guess. When you come in the morning, you'll see that it's really, really bright. Is it? I promise. You, I promise. I wouldn't lie. And you've got another window here. There's quite a lot of prep space and quite a bit of storage space. This is the formal dining room. Oh, that's quite large. It's it is very large. Oh, this is a nice big room. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is the one I saw on the internet that was vivid blue. Yes, this wall. I think you'll agree it looks better not blue. Oh, yes. This is the family room. Well, this is nice and cosy. Yeah, and there's a working fireplace. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, that looks really good with the black fireplace around and the white furniture. It looks spectacular. This is a nice room. We, we, think we, <laughs> we think it looks pretty snazzy. Should we show you upstairs? I'm going to show you the second bedroom. So do you fancy this for yourself? Cute. Yeah. I like it. So this isn't the master room? No, this is not the master room. This is the second room. It's um, a nice size. Yeah, it's a good size. And then you've got a good size closet in there. Oh, mm. there's lots of room for everything. Mm. I kind of like the furniture in here, too. Because this is the home office. Obviously, you could use it as a fourth bedroom, and it does fit a queen-size bed in it. So you'd have quite a lot of extra space here. It'd be great. Mm. And here is the master bedroom, which is a good size. Very nice. And it's very large. I like the size. It's nice and bright. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have a lot of furniture. You have a but it is a good size. Wow. Oh, this is great. I love the hardwood floors and the kind of warmer colors that uh, have been chosen. I think they look really sharp. Compared to other things you've seen, how does this measure up? Thing? I would come and see it again. Would you consider coming for a second view, potentially? I think so. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm making an offer. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So what's your situation? We're looking for something a little bigger than we have now. And uh, we've got two boys. Would you consider this house? 
probably need some time to think about things more than anything. Right. But I like how clean everything looks. Come back for a second view and bring the boys and see what they think. Right. <laughs> All right. So what do you think of the house? I think it's amazing. I think you guys have done an amazing job. The flow is there, the openness shows, which is what we as, as agents just love when we walk into a house. The open house went well. Oh, very well. People noticed the change from the pitch they've seen on the internet. We got positive feedback. I mean, there are things you can't change. The kitchen is a little small, mm -hmm. but I think all in all, it's looking fab. I think so too. Brilliant. Mission accomplished. We have turned this house from dated to sophisticated. And you really get a feeling of space. I'm impressed, and I don't think I'll be the only one. It's just such a dramatic change. Um, the whole ambience of the house is different. One of the hardest parts was actually when we started to declutter. You don't realize how much you really got until you start cleaning it out. It's sort of a cleansing process. You feel a little lighter after you do it. This experience has definitely been worthwhile. Um, what I've learned and gained has just been Priceless. I'm hoping that the open house will lead to a sale for us and it'll terminate all this angst that we've had. The fresh new decor in Bob and Susan's newly sellable home sent prospective buyers flocking to see it. And it wasn't long before they accepted a solid offer. Now that's some fantastic news because now that their house is sold, this evolving family can finally turn the page and start the next chapter of their lives. Bob and Susan's four-bed semi-detached home is on. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, feel free to speak. <laughs> well, I think Anthony's a woman guy, you know. <laughs> a woman guy? Okay. <laughs> he looks like a guy guy to me. I'm a guy guy. <laughs>